It was too hot. I can't breathe. Oh, fuck. <coughs> Welcome back to another episode of Subtly Tober. I'm certainly glad you can make it today. And I'm really hoping it's a great day wherever you are. Today, we're going to be painting my favorite painting that I've seen today. It's called Impression Sunrise. It's by one of the most famous artists that I have ever heard of, Claude Monet. Beautiful impression, beautiful impression, the first impression. Symbolic to me because this is my first impression as well. So as we get started, we're gonna run all the colors that you're gonna need for this episode across the bottom of the screen. And I'm gonna show you what I've already done. I've basically applied a very light layer of air. I've made sure that there is no dust on this and I suggest you do the same at home. We wanna get a nice lace. Fuck! I don't know. I don't know if I can speak in that voice this whole episode. I'm glad the mustache fell off because I'm back. So today we're gonna need to start off with a nice base layer. We're gonna start off with a mustard yellow. Take your big, big brush. And the trick of this on this episode is that with watercolors, don't overuse the color. It's mostly water. I'd say 95% water, 4% color, and 1% love. So let's dive right into it. We're gonna really wet up this brush. Really wetting it up. Ah. So we're gonna start off. Well, like I said, the mustard yellow. So we're just gonna dab it, dab it. We're gonna bring it over here. We're gonna dip it in some water. Let's put the water on the palette. See what that happens, just mush it around there. Be light when you dab it into the paint. Like I said, 4% paint. I think I need, need maybe more water. I don't know, that's looking pretty good. We're just gonna get into it. All right, diving right in. Beautiful, look at that. That's hella dark, dude, for watercolors. Guys, I think I put too much paint on this thing. I'm kidding, I need much more paint, this is ridiculous. This is gonna take 10 years if I keep doing it this way. I want to see how it looks. Still trying to apply this nice mustard yellow across this whole thing, basically across the whole canvas. All right, so I'm going to be taking this. Um, what the fuck would you call this? This is a little scraper. You take this little scraper, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get some paint, some of the mustard yellow. I'm just gonna throw it on my canvas right here. My canvas. <laughs> what is this? A palette? This is a palette. Remember to wash everything off. Give it a good washing. All right. I need water. Really, just soak your brush. Really, just make sure it's soaked. My mouth is a desert. I need some of this water in my mouth. I shouldn't drink this water. Hey, where's Claude from? France? Where is France? Is it in Spain? No. Is it in Spain? No. No, seriously though, is it that? It is? Is France in Spain? No, it's not. It's in Paris. It's in France. France is its own country. Guys, I'm really bad at geography. <laughs> All right, I'm having some Spanish wine. I'm just getting into it. I thought it was going to have some relevance. It doesn't. This is kind of funny. I put most of my yellow paint in the middle of the painting and we can all see that it's blue in the middle of the painting. Be sure you know where you're painting before you start painting. I'd say, what the hell? What is, it? oh, it's my mustache. So let's just basically go to the places that are yellow in this and hit it with the yellow. You keep telling me I need a lot of water, but look, can you even see that? I guess it's watercolors. You do need a lot of water. Let's go crazy. Let's get a little crazy with this mustard yellow. Oh, that's beautiful. Can we see that? Oh wait, where did it go? What the hell? You know what, there's a little brown up there too. I might wanna later on make some brown into it. Make sure you try to not let it drip. Don't let it drip, nope. Now, if you look at the painting, it kinda goes in a abstract kinda way. One of the main things you wanna make sure is you wanna get all of these brush strokes out. You don't want to see where one ends and another one begins. Lightly, lightly, <laughs> lightly whoosh the brush across the uh, canvas. Oh, shoot. Oh, very lightly, very lightly, very lightly. Look when you're doing this. Look when you're doing this. I'm sorry you distracted me. It's not your fault. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know it seems like I was doing nothing, but if you were here, you'd be able to tell. If we follow this over a little bit, it gets a little, a little more green. And so we're gonna bring, if you can see this right here, this is baby turd green right here. Get a bit of this scraper right here. Now that we have baby turd green, we're going to mix in a little bit of this urine yellow. We're gonna mix these together, give them a good mix in. Yeah, that's nice, but I think a little blue would help. My lips are so dry, this is ridiculous. It's a desert in my mouth. This is urinal cake blue. Oh yeah, this is nice. This is a nice color. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, both sides of this brush, just a lather. That duber did wonders, bro. Oh my goodness gracious, I am fucking so lit. We're just gonna blend this together with the water. Try to get it a little more even. 
Again, using the water to blend in our previous brush strokes. You see them disappear? This is amazing, this is magic. That's why I do this. Anything is possible, anything is possible. This is your little world right here. Again, getting our little mixture of paint. We're just not being shy, just lather it on there for now. We can make it even in a bit. And in our painting, it goes all the way down to the bottom and it gets a little blue when it does. It's gonna be a little more blue. I think we shouldn't be shy with this paint. I think I need a little more. I'm just gonna get it all over the brush. I'm just gonna really get it in there. I'm just gonna mash it up with the bristles. Mash it up, dip it in the water. Look at that beautiful color. You have no idea how much paint is in there. Watercolors, baby. That looks like nothing. <laughs> that didn't work at all. I've never really made a whole painting before. I've never done a class like this. I've never painted a painting like this. Wow, what? It's so symbolic. This is a first impression painting. This is my first ever painting. I meant, yeah, I'm an expert. Of course I'm an expert. We should cover the rest of this canvas. We can go back and make it a little more blue later on. Kind of interesting looking. Wow, that's fun. Oh, that's a fat piece of paint that I just fucking... Did you see that? <laughs> it's an impression painting, okay? I can do whatever I want. It's abstract. So I like that little flare right there. And, and honestly, we're going to have a little flare right here anyway, so you can go ahead and grab some water. No mistakes. Happy accidents. I really like it. It's really starting to turn out. Fill in all these corners. These pesky little corners. Don't be afraid to really get in there, guys. You are the master of your canvas. Anything is possible. Anything, the world is at your fingertips, guys. Now in the middle, we're gonna cover with the dark blue. So that is why we haven't covered it. If all you viewers out there was wondering why Dak hasn't filled in that middle part. You're not even listening to rules. Sometimes I don't, you're right. All right, so, so far, if you can see, we have a little bit of an idea of where we're gonna go with this. So, <sighs> wow, that was a lot of work. I can go back in. That was a doozy. If you look at the center of the picture, just go right a little bit. There's a big red, beautiful, a beautiful big red sun. And we're just gonna paint that right now. So we have been using green. This is also way too thick of a brush. So we're just gonna wash this sucker off. And this is my favorite part, beat the hell out of it. All right, so right now, we're gonna take our number eight brush right here, and we're gonna get a little bit of the red. Now I suggest getting a little bit of water on the brush first. You don't wanna go in this dry, everyone knows, you don't wanna go dry to dry. You definitely need some sort of liquid in there. Maybe a lot of wet, get it very wet. Get it very wet. Just dive right into this red right here. I believe this is a um, pomegranate red. Really just, I'm turning the brush. Oh God, jeez, be careful. Don't get it in the other colors. So we're just gonna go for it. We're just gonna get the sun right in there now. Oh yeah, just twirling it. I'm keeping one part of the brush on the canvas at all times. Twirling it, boom. Shit, hold on. Dry it off, wash, dry, wash, dry, shake, smack. Okay, come back in with a relatively dry brush. I'm just gonna lighten this up a little bit. Make sure it doesn't run. Beautiful, beautiful. While we have this color, we're gonna get a little bit of that mustard yellow. Gonna mix it with that red here. And we're gonna try to get a beautiful orange out of this, a sunset orange. Oh yeah, oh this is looking Beautiful. You can't see this. You're gonna see it. This is nice. This is really nice. Here we go. Nice orange. Now we're just gonna paint the reflection on the water. Reflection on the water. Oh, uh, this is nice. Yeah. Just simple. We can come back with another color and get over it. We can go out, make it inconsistent every once in a while. We're gonna come back with a dry brush. This is our number six. Our number six brush right here. We're gonna come in here. We're gonna just lightly stroke over here. We can push it out a little bit. See how we take all the brush strokes out of that? That's nice, that's nice right there. We're gonna run some more colors over this, so don't really worry about it right now. That's nice. Okay, wash this, wash, 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 dry, smack. <clears throat> so now, it's a little bit of this turd brown right here. Same technique, we're gonna use the same brush because it's basically the one we've been using the whole time. And now that we have a lot of paint, go over the spots. Look at that, beautiful. This is turning out really nice. Honestly, I'm incredibly surprised how well this is turning out. I didn't think it was gonna turn out this nice. This is a beautiful wine from Spain. Mm. I got the chills halfway through that. That was so weird. <sighs> Man, how do people do these wine fucking painting nights? I would die before I'm done with this painting. Let's hope that doesn't happen. All right, so back to what we were doing. We're gonna need water. This needs water. And I think we need a little more red in this. I put a little too much turd in this. All right, so we're adding a little more pomegranate to this turd brown. 
Really get it in there, guys. Really get it even. You don't want any, try not to get too many chunks in there. Oh, we got too much red. I'm gonna be real with you guys. Wash some of that off. I've done turd it up. We don't have enough turd, I don't think, right now. We need to mash it up. The turd is too solid right now. This is disgusting and perfect at the same time. And while I'm at it, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit of yellow to this because I think it's gonna be perfect now. What's this gonna look like? I like it. Okay, yeah, there's a little red up here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How do we like that? I like it. <coughs> oh, shit. So I'm gonna take a, yeah, a little bit of this blue that we used. I'm also gonna get a little bit of green. Now this is a really difficult part. We're gonna try to paint around this red circle that we got earlier. It's really just, just have fun with it. I think just be free with whatever you do. Yeah, free and confident. Oh yeah, look at that color right there. I feel like I'm, I could never use enough paint on this. I feel like I'm underestimating. Wow, that's really going everywhere. I think I used, okay, let's try to get in there. Okay, so accidentally covered the end, literally. Oh wait, if you take a dry brush, this is the 3 8 and I'm just gonna scrape away what we've just done from the red. Oh yeah, okay, well it just, blend, it really just blended in. Oh, it's a nice color though. I mean, I'm not mad. Happy accidents. Okay, moving on. You can never have enough paint on this. Wow, that's a lot of paint. Okay, hold on. Water to the rescue, here we go. Happy accidents, way too much water. Oh no, guys. Dry it, dry it, dry it, dry it, dry it, dry it, dry it. Holy cow! Got so far. It's okay. Happy accidents. Happy accidents. Look at that. It was meant to be. Meant to be. We need blue over here anyway. Well, that didn't turn out bad. Yeah. I'm trying to go a little heavy. I want to get these dark colors in here. And we had green earlier, so I really want them to pop. So heavy brush strokes. Don't worry about crossing over some of the sunset. It's natural. It's in the water. I wish I could paint every single day, all day. That's actually what I do, I forgot. I just love it so much I get so lost into these paintings, honestly, it's just tough. Okay, so now we're going to get into the very, very specific fine painting of the two boats we see here and multiple passengers. The one I wanna start with is the, of course, the number zero. But before I do anything, Yeah, that's a, that's a nice one. We're going to be using really dark colors and we're going to be watching that we don't want any other colors in these black colors because it's basically just black. Everyone knows that there's no other color in black than black. Hi, welcome back to another episode of Slowly Tober. This is in the beginning. We've been doing this for a while, so if you haven't been watching, I guess, I'll catch you up. We've done basically everything and you're really behind, but all we need to do now is paint two boats, which should be very simple. And I'm only gonna be using one color, maybe two. I might go for a third, but it's honestly up to me. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. All right, this, this is nice. Number three, we're gonna go with the number three today. And you really wanna just dive straight into the misty black right here. The misty black. Be careful, very permanent this one. We can't go back with another color and cover it up. All right, cool. So we're gonna go at this first boat, which is probably right here-ish. So I'm just gonna try to like, yep. I'm just gonna like guess it's a boatish. Boat. I like it. Is this the right color? I went into a new color. I went into purple on accident. There wasn't enough light. Maybe the purple looked good. I'm gonna go back into purple. I like it. I like the idea. It's my impression. Here we go. I'm gonna just color in the boat. Light brush strokes. Boom, I like that. Okay, now to paint people. Nope, going on to the second boat. Back into the color. Second boat's gonna be like right here. Yep, I like this. I like it. It's close. It's his buddy. Everyone's gotta have a friend. Oh, look at a little guy. He's far away. I don't know if it's another thing. Hey, uh, man, why can't I speak? He doesn't necessarily need to be super detailed. So I'm just gonna use this brush right here. Just the idea of him. Watch this, because now we're gonna go with a really fine, really fine brush right here. Now I have two cups, two cups now for a reason. I put it in one and it gets most of the color up, put it in the second, and you, as you see, as I put it into the second, <laughs> second, <laughs> I guess, how do I, shit. Okay, as you can see, I have two cups here. Now, I almost thought you had more for me to smoke and I was gonna be like, I don't know. <laughs> I have two cups here. So I'm gonna dip into one, and you get most of the color off here, as you can see. And I dip it in the second, and as you can see, almost no color comes off because I got it off in the first. Dry it, shake off the excess, back it around. All right, that's cool. Let that dry. So now we're gonna go with a super, super fine brush. This is a number two, fine point brush. So we're gonna go straight back into that misty black with some water, oops, with the first cup of water. Going over here, and now I'm just gonna roll it so it has a fine point, very fine point. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna paint a man right here. And he has a row in his hand, so I'm gonna paint a little body. Paint a little chest for him. Now, again, it's oppression. It's just an idea of mine, so I can make him look like whatever I want. So that's his, his chest is basically just a circle. There's a guy here, I'm gonna make a little head for him right here. 
Oh, that is a large head. Shit. Okay, wait, how do I make this better? Happy accident. I'm gonna actually make this part of his row. These are his arms now. Happy, it says row. He's rowing this boat. That's great, I love it. Okay, we're gonna go back. He has, I think he has a little dog friend. Oh, maybe it might be another person sitting down. So we're gonna paint him in there too. Everyone needs a friend. Give him a head, some shoulders, and a body. Now, if you would like, go back into the blue, go back into the purple, go back into the water, go back into the purple, go back into the blue, go back into the misty black, go back into the purple. We're gonna get a nice color, and we're gonna make a little shadow for him. Yeah, because the moonlight. It's not a shadow, it's like a reflection. Yeah, you know what I mean. You see what I'm saying? It's beautiful, it comes through. Well, I think we're gonna call that done today. I'm very happy you could join us today. I wish you the best, and as always, hope to see you soon. Like, what does it stand for? I love art. Gosh, it makes me feel it. Like, I have my own little world that I can uh, have total control over and no one has any say in it. Yeah, no one can tell me what to do when I paint. Mm, it's my world, my fucking world, I made that. I made that! That's what it means. I fucking make shit. Yep. I fucking make shit.